Hello everyone, it's PCL here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a major issue in Ghost of Tsushima's PC version. So the standoff in this game are just completely bugged right now. And a lot of users are unable to proceed with the game because of it. So I have divided this video in two parts. In the first part, I will talk about the fixes I have collected from different forums of this game where real users have explained what has fixed the issue for them. So this will fix the issue for 70% of the users as we will going through the list of solutions that have worked for different users. So that will probably fix the issue for you as well. But if you are still facing this issue, then you should proceed with the second half of the video where I have used my older clips to demonstrate a list of workarounds that might fix the issue for you as well. So just stick to the end of this video if you are facing this issue and if by any chance your issue is still not fixed, just write in the comment section so as soon as there is another workaround, I can reply to your comment on it and even other users can give their input on what has worked for them. So now let's proceed with the solutions without any further ado. So as you can see on your screen right now, the forums of this game is completely filled with this issue where people are facing issue related to standoff of this game. So let's come to the first solution. So this solution is provided by one of the users on Steam. His name is Zam. So he's saying he can confirm this it is due to the frame rates and you have to limit them to 60 frames per second. So all you have to do is you have to go to your game's video settings and set a limit to your frame rates. So for some users setting it to 60 fps is working and for some users setting it to 90 fps is working. So all you have to do is you have to set a limit to your frames per second and then try running the game and it will most probably fix the issue for you. Now let's jump to the second workaround. So this user is saying found this on another thread a better workaround than reducing frame rate. Found a workaround go to settings accessibility. There are some options for hold button and turn off the last one. If you do standoffs now there is no hold button anymore. You just need to click the button at the right timings. Works 100% time for me. So all you have to do is according to this user you have to go to settings and then go to accessibility in it. And there are some options for hold button and you have to just turn off the last option in it. And this user is saying it works fine for him. So I hope it works for you as well and now let's jump to the third solution. Now the third workaround is a simple one. So this user is saying try pausing your game, opening the map, when it's not accepting your input and try again after unpausing work for me so far. So all he's suggesting is just open the map by pausing the game and once you're back on your screen your game will start working fine. So you can just try it. And in the fourth workaround, this user is saying that limiting refresh rate to 60 hertz did not work for me. So this was the first workaround which did not work for this user. But I set my refresh rate back to 144 hertz and turned off Nvidia Reflex. That was what fixed it for me. So turning off Nvidia Reflex work fixed it for this user. So for every user for which for whom Nvidia Reflex is enabled, just turn off Nvidia Reflex, and most probably it will work for you. So now this is a thread of post on this forum. So this contains a few solutions. So this user said try jumping instead then see if that fixes it. So the other user said I'm gonna try the Meggy. If it works then you're a hero. So this user then reported that so for some of the users jumping is working for them. But unfortunately jump did not work for me. I went back to unlock frames borderless to test this. And the first three encounters worked without the bug. But on the 4th it happened again and pressing jump did nothing. For everyone else right now I am testing borderless window normal high refresh rate but locked to 60 fps in the driver. 3 encounters so far it has worked. It's 60 fps but at least I can tab out easy and don't have to mess with exclusive full screen. So the thing is you can go to your video settings and change your video settings from full screen to borderless window. And you can try a bit workarounds here. So with borderless window, try capping your frame rates to 60 FPS. Sometimes you can try it capping it to 90 FPS. And whichever combination works best for your system because every system has different configuration and game reacts differently for every system in this condition. So try different workarounds for you and this will fix the issue for you. So this was a list of fixes that has fixed this issue for a lot of users on, uh, on Steam forum. And now let's move to the second part of this video where I'm gonna tell you a lot of general solutions that fixes this issue for most of the games. So now let's jump to the second half of the video. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. 
The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues, but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated, so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT fast and your problem will most probably be fixed, but if you're still facing this issue, then proceed to the next step. I found this step after searching on many forums related to this topic and it is a really important step because it is working for most of the users. So what you have to do is you just have to go to your explorer and here go to this PC, right click on it and go to its properties. In properties you have to go to advanced system settings and here you have to go to performance and in performance you again have to go to settings and in settings make sure you are in advanced settings. In advanced settings you have to go to programs, select programs here and click on change. And now comes the most important part, here deselect automatically manage paging files, size for all drives and now you have to select the drive in which your game is installed. So for example I only have C drive so I will select this but if you have your game installed in D drive then select the D drive. Now you have to select custom size here and now the question is what you have to enter here. So in initial size you have to enter the recommended size here as you can see recommended here. Recommended for me is 1896 MB so initial size should be equal to the recommended size that is equal to 1896 now the maximum size should be equal to now let's take a calculator here and if you have 8 gigs of ram my pc has 8 gigs of ram so just multiply 8 by 1024 and the answer is 8192 so you just have to enter your ram in mb so 8192 should be for 8 gb of ram but if you have 16 gigs of ram just enter 16 into 1024 and you should enter 16384 in the maximum size now for 32 gigs of RAM, you should enter 32 into 1024, that is 32768. And lastly, let's cover for 12 gigs of RAM 2, that is 12 into 1024. And it is equal to 12 to double eight. So you have to enter it in the maximum size. Now you have to just click on OK, apply these settings, and it will ask you to restart your PC to apply these settings. So just restart your PC, and your problem will be most probably fixed. But if it's still not fixed, then proceed to the next step. Now this step is a really interesting one and an important one at the same time. It is very interesting because a lot of users think because they have updated their windows and they have updated their GPU then their PC is up to date. But that's not it. Because while gaming a lot of the drivers are used for example your display adapters, your network adapters, your keyboard and mouse drivers and these are not updated regularly with your windows update. So what you need to do is you have to just go to google and download any driver updater. There are many third party softwares which just scans for all the drivers and update them one by one. So if you are unable to figure out which software to download here, then you can just watch my videos on one of such softwares that is Driver Booster 7. I will provide the link of this video in the description. In this video I have shown how to download this software, install this software and use it to update your drivers. Also it has many interesting tools like you can fix no sound issues, fix device error, fix network failure, fix bad resolution. So you can do these things also. But it's still up to you. If you want to download any other software, you can download it. But if you want to download this one, I'll provide the link of this video in the description of this one. So that's it for this step. So I believe that is it for this video. I hope it worked for you. If it worked for you, then please leave a like. If you have any question, write in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. Thank you and have a nice day.